Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and March is almost over, so it's time to round up my favorites from the month. All right, so I don't have a lot to talk about because March is one of those months that just flew by, and I didn't really have a lot of time to test out a whole bunch of new stuff, and I was also sort of curating my spring makeup capsule collection. If you want to see a video on that, I will link that in a card above so that you can check it out. A lot of the products that are in that are some of my old favorites, and then a few of them are also brand new items to me, so I didn't want to mention anything that I've talked about a hundred times before, and I also didn't want to mention anything I haven't had time to really test out. There are, however, a few things from that tray that I've had time to sort of form an opinion on and have made it into my favorites. Since I guess we're on the topic of makeup anyways, I'll start there. The first thing I'll talk about is sort of a rediscovery for me. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've used this forever. I've used this in lots and lots of videos and it sort of sat in the back of my shelf for a while and I've been using other things and trying other stuff out and I started reaching for this again when I started needing a little bit more coverage. I've been having more breakouts recently than I have in the past so it's been coming in handy for those. I don't know why I ever stopped using it in the first place. I guess just testing other stuff and liking other stuff but it is definitely back at the forefront of my makeup collection. One of the newer purchases that has made it into the favorites is Le Blanc de Chanel. This is an illuminating makeup Makeup primer or makeup base. I like to use this sort of in my t-zone or where I would normally highlight and it just lifts that area makes it look a little bit brighter. I've also been mixing it into liquid foundation to sort of lighten it and give it more of a sheer um, illuminated glow and I like it so far. It smells amazing. It makes my skin look really soft focus I guess is really the only way to put it. Um, it doesn't make my makeup last particularly longer, but I don't really have a problem with makeup coming off or acting funny throughout the day, so that's not really what I use primers for. I don't normally use a primer to prolong the wear of my makeup. I use it for the effect that it gives, so if it's a color corrector or an illuminator or a mattifier, that's more or less why I would use a primer. I'm also so grateful for the pump on here. It is the exact right amount of product. I hate when products give you way too much in a pump or not enough at all in a pump. One pump of this is just the perfect amount for the face. Another one that I have instantly fallen in love with is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I think this has made it into two videos so far. I think I used it in a tutorial earlier as well as my capsule makeup collection. This is amazing for not looking like you have anything on your lips, but just completing your makeup. That's it for makeup. Now I'm going to move on to skin and body care and then finish out with one fashion item. The first skincare item is a lip balm. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm, and they say intensive and they mean it. This stuff is really, really, really thick. It is like the thickest lip balm I've ever used in my life. Um, and it's kind of minty and tingly and it feels really great. It like cocoons your lips in moisture. I would not wear this under a lipstick. It is too thick for that. But overnight, I like to use this to really... I'm, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for. You wake up and you still have lip balm on. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but it is a wonderful thing. Normally, you put lip balm on, you go to bed, and you wake up with dry lips anyways. This one just cocoons the lip and moisture and then when you take it off it's not like it just sat there and did nothing you have like soft supple beautiful supple it's a weird word you just have ultra soft feeling lips i don't particularly care for matte lips every day but i think if you are a matte lip lover or especially a liquid to matte lipstick lover you need this in your life um if you have that kind of dry, crusty feeling after wearing a matte lipstick. This is such a relief on your lips, especially overnight, and it really helps to prepare your lips for the next day if you're gonna continue to wear matte lip products. Now, like I said earlier when I was talking about the NARS concealer, my skin has been a little bit more spotty recently. I've been using a few skincare products to help to relieve that. I've started using this from Sebamed. I mentioned another one of their products in last month's favorites, I think, which was the body lotion, and this I've been using as well. This is the liquid Liquid face and body wash. I would never ever in a million years put something that was labeled as a body wash on my face but I read the ingredients and I compared it to ingredients in other products that I've used and I figured what the heck let me try it. I don't use this as my every single day every single time face wash. I more or less just like to use this one in the evening time after using a makeup remover just to double cleanse my skin and make sure everything is nice and clean plus it has the pH 5.5 which is ideal for healthy skin um, and I think that's helping to sort of balance my skin out and clear it back up. And the last product is an exfoliator. This is from 
Beauty RX by Dr. Schultz. It is their advanced 10% exfoliating pads and they are made with glycolic acid. This is fabulous for sort of making sure the pores are as clear as possible to help prevent breakouts and it's also great for sort of relieving post acne dark spots. I don't use these every single night. I switch them off with the derm stick for pores and I use that just on my nose area and this on the alternate nights I will use sort of anywhere that is feeling spotty or feeling extra oily or build up y and I like the way that my skin feels in the morning just soft and refreshed. And the last item I have to talk about is a fashion item. This is a shirt. This is from J. Crew and it has little embroidered goldfish all over it and I absolutely love it. I think it is so adorable. I saw this shirt in an email that they sent and it totally suckered me in. I was like, that is precious. I need it. But it was ungodly expensive. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I finally got a coupon in my email for 20% off and I said, okay, still expensive, but I went for it and I absolutely love it. I've worn it in a few videos already this month and I see myself wearing this all spring and all summer and for the rest of ever until it falls apart into tiny shreds and then I will cry because it is so precious. I've never seen a shirt that just screams me like this shirt does. I absolutely love Oxfords. I only wear button down shirts pretty much um, and this is blue, which is one of my favorite colors, goldfish, which are orange, which is my other favorite color, and it's a button down, and the material is great, the quality is great, and it fits me perfectly. If you want to hear more about my philosophy on clothes on my closet, you can go ahead and watch my closet slash wardrobe tour that I did earlier this month as well. And that's pretty much it. Like I said earlier, this month just flew by. I didn't have time to fall in love with as many products as I normally talk about in my favorites, because you all know, I like a lot of stuff. But if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know if there's any products that you're dying for me to try out during the month of April. While you're down there, go ahead and open up the description box because I have a link to every product that I've talked about in this video today for you to go ahead and check out. And while you're in there, you can also check out my social media links. I've got a link to my Facebook page as well as my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of those things are at John John Talks. Click on my face now. If you want to be subscribed to my channel and you're not already, I post a video every Monday and Thursday. Also, I'm thinking about changing my video schedule if you are still watching this video and you are interested in that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me what days you'd rather see me post rather than Monday and Thursday. Um, and that's it. I'll see you all next time. Bye. April 21st. And then I saw Tati open every single shade and smell them and swatch them and play with them. And I got even more excited.